What's up my friends, Enrique here once more bringing you the complete optimization guide for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We are going to make some tweaks into Windows itself and all the best game settings to improve performance and bring you better smoothness to the mess that Ubisoft had left for us the players to repair. When you watch this video until the end, the game will be running a better FPS, more smooth gameplay and all of that without losing too much on the quality and immersion of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Before we start, guys, if you find the video useful, don't forget to drop a like, this will really help the channel out with the YouTube algorithm, and a subscriber is always welcome. If you want an optimization guide in any other game that you need, just leave it on the comments down below, I will try to answer you all and I will look to make it possible for you. Now, let's jump right into the guide. First, into the window optimization itself, we want to go into the graphical settings, for that you type into the search bar, graphics settings, here they are, open them, First, if you have the option of hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, make sure that it's on. And now you want to add Assassin's Creed Valhalla right here. You want to click on Browse and search for the file where you have Assassin's Creed Valhalla installed. You want to go into Program Files, Epic Games, if you have it by Epic Games, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and you want to select the Assassin's Creed Valhalla.exe. Click on Add. And now you want to click right here into the Options and to set it into High Performance. Click on Save. Another thing that you want to be sure is that you have the power plan enabled into high performance. For that, again, into the search bar, you want to write power plan. And right here, you want to go back to the powers options and to be sure that you have the high performance plan or AMD Ryzen high performance if you use an AMD processor. If you guys want a full optimization guide on Windows 10, click on this video right here to check it out. If you have an AMD or NVIDIA graphic card, the settings are not exactly the same, but they're going to be pretty similar. So if you have an AMD card, you are going to be able to follow along. Right click anywhere empty on your desktop and open the NVIDIA control panel. Right here into manage 3D settings, you want to go into program settings. You want to click on add and browse. Search again for Assassin's Creed Bahala and open it. Now, here are the settings that I recommend for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I have already made a video on the global settings that are the best for the NVIDIA graphic cards, so you can go and check it out if you want it. But for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, this is what I will recommend. Image sharpening. You want to set it to on. You want to put the sharpen to 0.50, like I have it right here. And the ignore film grain, you don't need to change it. And leave it like it is. Click OK. And isotropic filtering. Select it on application control. Anti-aliasing transparency. Set it like this into use global settings off. Here into CUDA GPUs, you want to be sure that you select your graphic card and click OK. Low latency mode, you want to set it in on. Max frame rate, you want to set it into disabled. So off, click OK. Monitor technology, if you have available for you a G-Sync panel or a FreeSync panel, I really recommend that you activate it. On OpenGL, you want to select, of course, your graphic card. Under the power management mode, you want to set the preferred maximum performance. Shader Cache, you want to set it into ON. Texture Filtering, you want to set it into ON. Into Texture Filtering, Negative LOD Bias, set it into Allow. Into Texture Filtering Quality, you have to set it into High Performance. Make sure that Texture Filtering Trilinear Optimization is ON. And into the Thread Optimization, be sure that you have it into Auto. Click Apply. And you can already close this window and open the game. We're going to be looking at the settings there. Hi. Seriously? No, thank you. I don't want to buy nothing. Now, when you open your game, you want to go into Options and into the Graphics tab. Adaptive Quality Off. This is going to give you really inconsistent frames. So I would recommend it to set it in Off. Anti-aliasing, I would recommend you. Maximum, you want to set it in Medium. The quality difference is not so much, but it's going to hurt really much your frames per second. I use it in Low. For details, you want to set them into very high, or if you can make it, you can choose it ultra high. If you choose high, medium, or low, the difference is going to be really bad into game immersion. By the cost of a couple of frames, if your PC cannot handle them, then you want to go into high, medium, or even low. But for the immersion of the game and how the quality looks, I will really recommend you to use very high. The clutter. This is going to sharpen and tweak some ground objects like grass and trees. And I recommend you keeping it at high because 
the ground will look really a lot more alive and better like this. Again, like in the last setting, if your PC cannot handle this, then set it a little bit lower. But again, it's not going to look so good and immersive, the game. Into the shadows. The shadow is another setting that is going to affect how the game looks, and I will really recommend you to set it into very high, high, medium, or low only if you have a slow PC or a really low-end system, because the quality difference is really big. On to volumetric clouds. This is going to have a much greater performance hit than what you can think, but actually you don't almost see the clouds nowhere on the game. So I recommend you to guys to set it into medium because you are not going to be looking at the sky too much when you play this game. And for the performance hit that this takes, it's not worth it. Set it into medium because you cannot even set it into low. Into water, I really don't see so much of a big difference. So for the performance hit that you take of this, I would recommend you to set it into medium. The screens place reflections, I would recommend you to set it into on. This again helps a lot with the immersion on the game. So if you can afford it, if your PC can make it, set it into one. Environmental textures. This is going to make all the quality that is around you look more sharper and more real. So again, guys, set it into high because the immersion that you're going to lose, if you see it right here on this image, when you set it into low or to medium, it's really big. If you cannot afford it, okay, set it into medium, but don't go into low. This is going to look terrible. And exactly the same with character textures. In low, is they're going to look really bad, like an old PlayStation 2 game, so I would recommend it into high or medium. Now, into post-processing, depth of field, I have really not noticed any difference by setting it into high, low, or off. So for the moment, I recommend you guys to set it into low. It's going to give you a couple more of frames, and you are really not going to notice a difference. And motion blur. Motion blur is a big difference in performance when you set it into on. And by personal preference, I really don't like how this looks, so I recommend you guys off. The other settings that you want to change is right here into the screen. Apply the changes, go to the screen, and the field of view you want to set it to a 100%, FPS limit set it into off, and the other thing that I would recommend you right here is to run it at the native resolution if you didn't have it selected, and if you have a V-Sync or a FreeSync panel that you set it into on. Click apply, and now you can go and enjoy the game with better frames, more smoothness, and without so much lag. I really hope this guide has helped you guys. If it did, please drop a like, and a subscriber is really always welcome here and you will really help the channel out. Thanks for watching, my friends. If you have any questions or problems, leave it in the comments down below. I really always try to answer you all. And like always, my friends, see you on the next time. Bye-bye.